Hi, Misha and Milan. How are you? I'm awesome, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, I just wanted to thank you so much for sitting down with me to do this interview. I know it's really early in the morning for you in Melbourne. Um, now, I'm not sure if you know this, but I have a business uh, that I'm working on that's dedicated to empowering kids just like you to be exactly who they are in their lives. And I have a vision, very, very, very big vision, to assist kids as young as yourself to become inspired leaders of the future. That's really what I want to do with my life. Wow. So when I discovered your inspiring mission and what you want to be doing with your life at this very early age, I just had to speak to you and share it with the Be Who You Want to Be community. So I'd like to ask you and your mum a few questions, if that's okay with you. Yes. Cool. I came across your story a little while ago. Um, actually, before your mum uh, kind of brought it to my attention again, and I'm so grateful. For, uh, I'm so grateful that she did because now I get to speak to you about it. So, what I want to know, my first question to you is: Can you tell me just a little bit about yourself? How old you are, and what's what's a little bit about you? Okay. And look at the camera right there. The I have three names. Three. My wow. first real name is Misha Solaria. Okay. My nickname is Mish. Okay. And Greg, Dr. Greg, would you really like to hear my cute and cheeky name? Of course I'd love to hear it. <laughs> okay. It is Mishi, yeah. Gishi, yeah. Pasuchi. And okay. just so I know that you heard it all the way from America, you have to say it after me. Okay. Mishi. Mishi. Gishi. Gishi. Pasushi. Pasushi. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. There we go. You got it right, didn't he? Thumbs yeah. up. So how old are you, Mishi? I am seven years old and yeah. I'll be turning eight on the 20th of May, which is pretty exciting. Oh, wow, fantastic. That's soon. That's only in a few weeks' time. Yes. So you want to tell a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And look right in the camera. Okay. I'm a little girl from an ordinary background, and I'm ordinary too. And I'm from an ordinary world, and I wrote an ordinary book, and that's... And what do you like doing? What, what are some of the things and you like doing? things I like doing are designing clothes for my Barbie dolls. No, when you talk, you talk yes. over here. For my Barbie dolls. <laughs> Fantastic. So what do you do on this mannequin? What do you what do you um, do to tell Garrett Gregg? I design the clothes and then I can put it on this mannequin so that um, I can check if any of the length is small or big. Amazing. Oh, okay. Amazing. That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> Thank you. And I've got Tigger here who loves reading and I love reading too. Reading and writing my favourite things. I know, I, I know. And Tigger helps me. Tell everybody that I like reading and writing. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I love writing poems. Oh, you wow. can see that there. Yeah, that's very yes. pretty. And I'm going to read it for I'm you. Sun, oh dear sun, are you hot or cold? Are you red or yellow? Are you bliss that shines the sky? I am so grateful to you, son. Son, oh dear son, you are beautiful and I'm grateful for you. Fantastic. That's beautiful. wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Well, and I love, and oh, and I also love my gratitude journal. Oh, wow. You have a gratitude journal? Yes. How often do you write in your gratitude journal? Every morning. Oh, wow. And what kind of things do you write about? What kind of things are you grateful for? I'm grateful for... How about this one? Anzac Day. Look over there. I'm grateful for a mailbox and I'm grateful for food. Oh, fantastic. Well, those are wonderful things to be grateful for. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thank you for sharing just a little bit about you. Now, my next question, this is the main reason really why I wanted to interview you, is because I found out that you created your own book, that you wrote your own book, and it was published, I think it's been published by Hay House, correct? That's yes. right. Did you get so, 
what and it's called start yes so what I wanted to know is what inspired you to write that book you want to show the book yes wow that's beautiful yes. yeah I can see it. it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> well what inspired me was one day I asked my mommy who who became, who came before Adam and Eve and she said God did and I said, but who came before God? Mm -hmm. And she said, somebody, but I don't know who came before God. And right. then I asked her, and she said that God is the one who created the world, and he started the world. Mm. <laughs> so, then she said to me, why don't you go and look it up in the dictionary? So I said, let me go and look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> and when I looked it up, I said... Ah, oh, start means that, but I want to keep investigating on it. So, while I was kept investigating, I said that I want to start something too. Okay. And I said I'm going to start writing things that I want to do and start writing all different things. And when I started writing all my things down and all my questions, then I just started, your book. started my book. Cool, that's amazing. So, yeah, we could meet Liz Hay as well. Oh wow, that would have been that would have been amazing to meet to meet her. It was, wasn't it? Yes. And I, and I know you've met Dr. John D. Martini as well. Yes. yes. I heard you're one of his students. I am definitely one of his students. We actually have a <laughs> quite a, a nice relationship with one another. We hopefully be doing some work together as my business grows. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. So what I want to know, because I know that there are a lot of parents who are going to be watching this, and I know that there might be some kids who are going to be watching this, so I want to know something. I want to know what motivates you to keep writing, and why do you love it so much, and what message would you love to share with the world through your writing? So go one at a time, just say what made you write the book first. Yeah, what okay. motivated you? Is that the one? Is that the question, Greg? What made her write the book? What motivates you to keep writing? So that's my first one. My curiosity to life, okay. like my questions were who am I, mm -hmm. and questions like that, and yeah, and finding answers helped me with my questions, and then all my questions I had, I wrote them all down, and when I found my answer, I had so many questions that it turned into a book, cool. and I wanted to share my story with everyone. Cool. So... Why do you love writing so much? I love writing so much because everything you want to write can come out and people can see what you've been thinking and how you think life is and how you think the world is, which is pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So when you write all the things you love writing down, what do you think, what do you think your message is that you would love to share with the world? What do you want the world to know through your writing? That age does not matter. I because love that. No, no person is ever too small and no dream is ever too big. You just need time to take the first step. I love that. Which Spoken is. by a true inspired visionary. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Brought tears to my eyes because this is what I, this is uh -huh. what my business is all about: is helping people see exactly what you said inside every single child. Because it's something that often goes um, often goes overlooked, and it was something that I know I had a few challenges with when I was growing up, and I and I've seen it in a lot of kids that I've been around, and a lot of adults. I've worked with a lot of adults in my career. And a lot of them forget how to be kids. And I think it's so important to be a kid as much as an adult because it helps us live a life that's really, really inspiring and full of fun and, and enjoyment and, and something that's really fulfilling. So that was really cool. Thank you for, for saying that. <laughs> you're welcome. And when, you, when you're an adult and you're, you're sometimes an adult and you're sometimes a child, it's the balance of being two, two people, so I, you don't miss being an adult or don't miss being a child. I agree, I agree, and I think that's really important to have the balance of both. 